This budgie had an injury to its leg caused by its band, and I made a comment saying that it should probably be sedated for this procedure as it seems to be in a lot of pain. You would not believe how many pet owners responded to my comment demonizing sedation for birds and saying that the risk was too high. As a vet who works with birds every day, I'd like to give my perspective and bust some myths about bird sedation. Because you know what birds can also die from? Stress. Yes, it's true that sedation anesthesia is more complicated in birds, and in the untrained hands, it can certainly be risky. But in the hands of an experienced avian vet, sedation can actually make a lot of procedures safer. In this instance, the bird is more likely to get hurt struggling than if it could be sedated and have the band gently removed. And while old school vets may not have recommended sedation, nowadays we have a lot of really safe medications that can even be reversed if the bird isn't doing well. To those that commented saying their bird died under sedation, I am so, so sorry. But we can't solely blame sedation. Sometimes birds are so sick that they may pass from the stress of handling regardless of if they got sedation or not. Birds are really good at hiding signs of illness, so they may appear healthy on the outside, but something might be brewing on the inside. To recap, I don't want to completely disregard the dangers of sedation and anesthesia, as there are inherent risks to everything. But it's important not to demonize it, as it can be beneficial in the hands of an experienced avian vet. And just another aside, this is why I don't recommend bird bans, so talk to your vet about getting your birds removed. For some birds, microchipping is also a great option.